Here is a digital transponder, model KT76C. You change the mode of operation by rotating this knob and you enter the squawk by using uh, the numeric keyboard. In the standby mode you can change the squawk but transponder is not sending anything. The test mode just performs some internal tests and all the LED segments are lit. In the ON mode your squawk is transmitted to the ATC and you will see a little R interrogator symbol lit from time to time. In the ALT mode transponder sends not only the squawk but also your current altitude mm, from the encoding altimeter. One thing worth noting is that it's actually your flight level as labeled here. So regardless of your altimeter barometric pressure setting, the altitude shown here and transmitted to the ATC is always at the standard barometric pressure of 29.92 inches of mercury. So you can sometimes see a different value here than on your altimeter, even some negative values. One interesting feature is the VFR button, which resets uh, the squawk to default VFR squawk. Because uh, VFR squawk is different in different areas of the globe, for example in the USA it's the VFR squawk is 1200, in Europe it's 7000. So actually you can program the squawk for the VFR yourself and the unit will remember it the next time you fly. Uh, to program your squawk you have to go back to standby mode, enter desired code. In the real unit you have to press both IDENT and VFR buttons simultaneously. In FSX just press IDENT button using the right mouse button which will hold it in place and press VFR button. And now our, our VFR squawk has been reset to 1200. So if we enter different code here and press VFR button it's 1200. If you press and hold VFR button now it will revert to the last non-VFR squawk code.